here at the MASH Gallery. We yes. have Jalen. How are you tonight? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Very good. So what brings you to this art show? Well, I was invited tonight to check this out, and being a fan of all and different type of multiple art, it's, um, I should say, not multiple art, that's probably the wrong word to use, but uh, different um, selections and different varieties of art I've always been interested in, and so my wife couldn't make it tonight, unfortunately, but she's like a massive fan, and uh, she's a little jealous that I made it in tonight. Um, anything that I can do to support creativity of artists, especially like local ones, uh, I'm all about and you know and will arrive to and uh, I'm excited to see what's here this is my first time to be honest with this this specific gallery so I am actually in for a surprise and uh, I'm curious to if any of the artists are here if I can meet them this evening and just see what they're all about and you know I love to hear what they do and why they do what they do one of the artists tonight is Noreen Who's do, who has a painting called Love and Destiny. Uh -huh. So we're going to go deep and ask you what Love and Destiny is to you. I definitely will be asking her that. Because, I mean, art's very subjective, right? So to somebody, they may love it and someone else they may not. And so I always like to dig into the artist and understand their story and what they're telling. I think it's beautiful for them to express, and I guess, in any freedom type of movement that they can or that they choose to. So that's the beauty of art, right? Like someone, one tire may look like nothing into others. It has like this deep meaning. So yeah, I definitely will ask her that. And then I'll come back and I'll tell you what the answer was. Now, New York's kind of the art spot, but LA's mm -hmm. been picking up. What do you think about art in LA? Art in LA does definitely has a different vibe. You know, um, might be putting my foot in my mouth if I say this, but I feel like I've heard it's got more of a street vibe, um, more of a cultural street vibe. And I feel like the New York side, at least what I've been introduced to or been told is more of a, more of like a, a high-end museum contemporary mode, although we have that here too. But I don't know, the, the art that I've been introduced to and seen here so far, I've liked. And um, someone watching this is gonna be like, he's so wrong, it's this. It's really hard, it's all subjective to be honest. But I, I'm happy that LA is kind of jumping more into the art scene, you know what I mean? I mean, they should in all avenues, whether it's just art like this specific gallery or the arts as in um, you know live theater. You know, New York's kind of been the champion of that, obviously. But uh, at least LA's making some noise, you know. We're doing okay. Jalen, tell me about your current project you're working on here in town. Uh, currently on the on the air, I'm in Homeland, season eight. Uh, it's airing on Sundays on Showtime. And uh, I'm recurring on a show called The Resident, which is on Fox. And if you're into streaming, which I think everyone is, um, you can go to Amazon Prime and look up the show Six, S-I-X two seasons on there it's a navy seal show it's really awesome and uh the writers um bill broyles david broyles bruce mckenna uh for that show specifically on six they really dove into telling his real truthful raw stories of a lot of our heroes and what they deal with when they come back home it's not just about the like bang bang go save somebody so i really if you haven't seen six i definitely would say please check it out great to meet you jalen have an incredible night thank you nice to meet you too sir thank you